Hey guys, so I've been giving it a lot of thought to my uh, problem from the other day, and uh, I think I know what I'm going to do here. Okay, I think the problem was I was being way too ambitious in how big a piece I was trying to make, at least for where this tight curve is. Um, I think I'm going to try and cut it right about, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make just one short piece for here to here, or roughly to about the middle of that curve there, and then I'll do one big piece for length up to just past that, that line in the curve. And I think that that is doable. Or at least I do believe that this piece will be doable here for sure. So I'll, con I'll do that piece first, you know, prove that I can get that done, and then if this piece proves to be problematic, then I'll, I'll cheat a little bit, and here's what I'll do, is instead of trying to form the flange, I will just form the recessed area. I won't try and form this part here, which makes, this is part of what makes it quite hard for this to form, and then I'll just, uh, I'll just weld it to the other piece like that, you know, or to the uh, inner piece like that. You know, it's a little bit of a cheat, but I don't think that, uh, that uh, I have a problem with that. I did have to do that on this side when I formed one of those other pieces. So, I'll take my blank, we'll screw that to this piece here, you know, we'll remove that old piece. I'll route that back out again to my, with my half inch uh, cove bit and uh, we'll come back to this and we'll try some more hammering again. You know, if you look at it right here, if you just kind of like look at it, you probably could split the curve right about there. And that would make it more reasonable, because you could see how much, how much hammering it took right, literally, in that location. This is where I, I was pounding away, and even as it was, it didn't get good shape on it. So I'm thinking that if that's where I cut it, or that's where I break it, I'll, it'll be a lot better off. Okay, let's get to it. Oh yeah, by the way, the other option was to look at building a power hammer. And, uh, and making some dies to form that lip. Uh, I've been, I've got the plans for two different kinds of power hammers. One's a, a semi-pneumatic one, uh, and the other one is, uh, is completely mechanical. They're actually both uh, electric motor driven, but, uh, but one actually uses a uh, air over uh, air piston to, and I'm maybe not explaining it right, but it uses a piston driven by the motor with an air spring to drive the hammering part. Just to, so if that makes sense. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, if I built either one of those things, I'd be probably out a week, maybe two weeks uh, work anyway. So if this will work to split this, then this is a much better uh, tactic. And I can build the power hammer over the winter time when I... Uh, when I, uh, you know, am more limited in what I can do with a vehicle kind of a thing. Anyways, let's get to this thing. Yeah, I think that this is going to work a lot better this way. Um, just, uh, you know, a little bit of the rough shaping with the uh, ball peen end of the hammer here. And uh, and then planishing with the, the power hammer here, or air hammer. And, uh, and, it's, and it's already better than this one was. Oh, actually, it's the other one. Um, it's already better than this one was after hours of trying to shape it. So that was the way to go. I'll break this into two parts. And uh, what I'll do is I'm going to still do a little bit more planishing on this because you can obviously see it's not quite conforming to this. I don't know how much more I can make it conform without beating the hell out of the uh, die. But, uh, but I think we're okay. So we'll form that a little bit more. And I'll spend some time you know, rounding that bottom corner off just by hand. And uh, then we'll try and do this big piece here. Because I think that that's, you know, got relatively less crown and you know, in this direction than, uh, than that. And I think it'll be okay to do it in one big piece. Okay, so this is not the finished prod product, but uh, I'm gonna just knock off because I'm starting to get angry. Um, I don't think uh, smashing the <laughs> clamps with a hammer every time they fall off is a healthy attitude to be in at the time. So anyways, I think, I'm thinking I'm going to probably have to break this into another segment because I cannot, I could not, no matter what I did, I could not bring this side flat. And, uh, and my clamp, my 
form is starting to come apart now, the bottom part, which is the part I had been basing all the other pieces off of. So I might have to do something where I break it around here somewhere and make yet another piece there. But three pieces is three pieces. Um, I'll spend some time planishing it tomorrow, I think, uh, you know, with the old air hammer, which really wasn't having a lot of effect. This one was, a, you know, of course, I figured this would have been the easy length to do. And, of course, it was not. It was every bit as hard as the other segment was. Um, and uh, and uh, if anything, it might have even been a little harder. It was a bigger piece. Regardless, I'm going to uh, knock off for the day, and I'll come back to it tomorrow. I'm seriously thinking about that power hammer, because basically what you can do is you can make a die that's the profile that you want and you can hammer it in and now you'd say well this is on a curve but actually there's a little bit little trick you can do with that if I make one I'll show you what I'm talking about because I'm not 100% sure I know what I'm talking about anyways regardless that's it for the day guys thanks for watching rating commenting subscribing